Catherine Beltran, the Paleo Weather Girl for PNN. Well, for me, it was the, my really first experience uh, on a scientific expedition. So two months at sea was something really stressful for me. I didn't know how it would cope with that. And I think it was the greatest experience I've ever had, really. Uh, being in the same boat as m a lot of scientists and you have time to speak with them and they become friends and it's like really belonging to a family, a scientific family and this is exciting. Of course the work on board is not wonderful every day but you discover those sediments just coming out from the, uh, the drilling process and you just, we were excited, each core, we were excited of seeing them, the colors, the content, everything. And it was really, really interesting. When I was a, a young girl, I had a teacher, a biology, biology teacher, who was crazy about earth sciences. I've never forgot this, this teacher. And I was somewhere around 21 years old. I was in an engineer school. And I decided, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to be an engineer. I want to be an earth science, scientist. And so I started again my studies from the beginning to be a geologist. And the day of my defense, of my PhD defense, I've called this old uh, biology teacher to tell him, well, I'm going to be a doctor and this is your fault. <laughs> and he was really, I think he was really proud and I was very, very happy to share this moment with him. I will, I, I really thank him. I'm Catherine Beltran, your paleo weather girl with the weather report for June the 21st, 1896. As you can see, We've had some strong cooling over the past 33 million years, but this trend is going to end. First, it was a joke, and it was a way maybe to relax a little bit. And then I, f I found this character pretty interesting. It was a good way of showing what science was in a very friendly and fresh way. And then I thought that maybe for people who are not really used to science, it was a good way to show them what we were doing and what were the main results that was obtained for the weather, for instance, for the climate, to be more precise. And so this is why I said, OK, let's try and, and be this weather girl, even if it's sometimes a little bit ridiculous. At least I hope it was funny. Ha! Ah, our weather update. Katrien, tell us all about it. Thank you, Happy. Here is your weather report for June the 7th, 33 million years ago. We had a very strong cooling over the past 10 million years, which had very unexpected effects. Our station in Antarctica became covered by white, fluffy, cold things falling out from the sky. Yet, we don't know what it is, but it might be something chemical. Yeah, everything was true, even if it was said in a funny way. There was no uh, imagination in it. It was really reporting some scientific results on the climate changes in a, yeah, in a simple way so that people can remember it. You know, it's, everything is falling after years of research, so you can trust what I say. This was your last PNN weather report. Thanks for your attention.